welcome back to Math with Jen. In this video, we are going to represent decimals, including tenths and hundreds, using concrete models. In this video, we are going to be using these three types of models. This model right here is representing 100 hundredths. So it's representing one whole. So we have 100 hundredths. I have 100 of these one hundredths. I have a hundred of them, so that makes a whole. Remember, when you're talking about a fraction, the bottom is telling you how many you need to make one whole. So for this hundred grid, I have 100 one hundredths, and that's going to be equal to one. Using the hundred grid model to represent one whole, and we will be using this bar, which is, has 10 parts. So it has 10 of the one hundredths, and you can see here in this hundred grid, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten of these ten hundredths make up a tenth. That's a lot. But this ten hundredths is also equivalent to one tenth. So we will be referring to these bars as one tenth. We're also going to be using this little guy. This little guy is going to represent one hundred. Okay, it's one of these inside this hundred grid. So this one is made up of a hundred of these little guys. Okay, and that would be the fraction one over 100. These are the models we're gonna use. Now in this video, we are also gonna really focus on the decimal. What does that decimal amount mean with these fractions? So the fraction one hundredths is the same as the decimal one hundredths. This is the hundredths place. This one, one tenth, that is the decimal, 0 0.1. Remember, this is the tenths place. We have this bar is representing tenths because it's 10 of these little guys. 10 out of 100 is the same as one tenth. And then we need 10 of these guys to make one of these. So I could also write this as 10 over 10. For this example, we are going to explore both the decimal form and the fraction form. So looking at this one, we have one, two, three holes, right? We have 100 parts make a hole, 100 parts make a hole, 100 parts make a hole. So we have three holes. Now we're gonna look at the decimal amount. Remember, each of these little guys was worth 100. I have one, two, three, four, five hundredths. So I have three and five hundredths. As we write it as a decimal part of the whole, we're going to say, okay, it's out of a hundred, so I have five hundredths, so I'm gonna need to go to the hundredths place. So I'm gonna put the five there, because that's five hundredths. And then remember, when we don't have a value for a place value, we put a zero. So this number is representing one, two, three, three holes, and then five out of the hundred parts that we need to make a whole. For our next example, we don't have any holes. We only have part of a whole. So we're not going to write a whole number in this example because we don't have a whole number. We are only going to be able to write the fraction part of it and the decimal part of it. So here we have one, two, three, four tenths, and then I have two hundredths. I have or tenths, I have a place value for the tenths, and then I have two hundredths. Four tenths, remember the, each of these bars is representing a tenth, so I have four tenths, and I have two hundredths. I can write those using place value because I know where the tenths place is and I know where the hundredths place is, so this would be 42 hundredths. The fraction that you want to write for this one would be 42 hundredths. It's 42 over 100. The next example we're going to look at, we have one, two holes. We have a hundred over a hundred. We have a hundred over a hundred. Okay, right? We have a hundred parts out of a hundred that we need to make a hole. So that's one hole plus another hole. And we're going to now look at this one. This, how many little guys do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five. So that's five, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. We have 14 hundredths. So we have one hole and another hole. 
because we need a hundred parts to make a hole. We have a hundred that we need. So we have one hole, one hole, plus 14 hundredths written as a decimal is 0 0.14. We have two and 14 hundredths. As a fraction, I would write it as two and 14 over 100. Reading it, this is two and 14 hundredths. Reading this one, two and 14 hundredths. These are the same value, just one's written as a decimal, one's written as a fraction. For this example, I encourage you to pause the video and try to write both the decimal value for this one and then the fraction value for it. So go ahead and pause the video, write down your answer, and then come back. I'm going to look at my whole numbers first. So I have one, two, I have two of those models are representing one out of a hundred. Again, I have two of those models. So we have one plus one. Each of these little guys are a hundredths. So we have plus four hundredths, which is the decimal 0 0.04. Here we have two tenths, so we're going to add two tenths, which is 0 0.2 as a decimal. And then we have one, two, three, four little guys again. So we're going to add four hundredths. So we have one model that's 100 out of 100 parts. We have a second model that's 100 out of 100 parts. We have a model of the four hundredths, a model of two tenths and then a model of 400. We have two whole number amounts. Then I'm going to go ahead and go to the tenths place because that's the next place value is the tenths. So I'm going to go ahead and write down the two tenths. The next place value, that's the hundreds, and we have four hundreds and four hundreds, so that's eight hundreds. We have two and twenty-eight hundreds represented by this model, which is the same as two and 28 hundredths. We are going to do one more together and I kind of put a lot of different models together, but we're gonna go ahead and group this together, find the sum of all these models. I encourage you to pause the video and try this yourself and then come back and see how you did. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. We have four whole amounts plus we have, let's look at our we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tenths. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundredths. Writing this as a decimal, we have four holes plus seven tenths plus eight hundredths. So to add these all together, we have four and seven tenths and eight hundredths. The fraction equivalent would be four and 78 hundredths. The decimal value of four and 78 hundredths is equivalent to the fraction value four and 78 hundredths. I thank you so much for joining me in this video and I hope that you learned something new. I will see you next time, bye. As a fraction, that would be 400 because I have 400 parts out of 100. Ooh, that might be too much for y'all. That might blow your mind. Let's not do that.